Hi everyone, Sal here, and I want to talk a little bit about budgeting. So at a very high level, a budget is a way of keeping track of how much money you're bringing in and how much you are spending. And the reason why you want to do it is you, at the most basic level, want to make sure you're not spending more than you're bringing in, but even more, you want to make sure that you're spending it on the things that matter more for you, especially in the long term. So when you set up a budget, and we'll have other videos where we show examples of this, you're going to want to think about the money that you're coming in. So this is oftentimes going to be from your paycheck. Maybe you have other sources of money coming in. You want to think about that money after tax, which can be sometimes significant. And then from that, you want to think about, well, where's the money going to? Now, a lot of folks will talk to you about the 50, 30, 20 rule. And this is, it doesn't have to be exactly 50, 30, 20, but it's a nice framework to think about, which is 50% of the money that you bring in, maybe you could spend that on your needs, 30% you can spend on your wants, and 20% use that for savings. Now, what are needs and wants, and actually what qualifies as savings? Well, needs are things that you pretty much need. You need a place to live. You probably need some transportation. You need to eat. So for example, your rent, that would be a need. Now you could debate how, how much of an apartment you might need, but wherever, whatever you're paying for rent is probably a need. Your groceries are a need. Uh, if you have to pay, for example, insurance or lease, or you're paying a, a, a note on a car, those are all needs. Now what are wants? Well, these are things that you, you might like, but you, you don't need them necessarily to survive. For example, you need to do groceries to eat, but you don't need to go to out to eat at a restaurant. That would be a want. And as we know, it's a lot more expensive to go to a restaurant than to get groceries at the supermarket and cook for yourself. Another want might be you're going to a concert or you're going to a movie or uh, maybe going on vacation or something like that. That would classify as a want. And then savings. Well, the number one reason why you want it is you want to put some money aside for a rainy day. You want an emergency fund where if for whatever happens, you had some medical expenses that are you didn't expect happening, or maybe you have to ha help out a family member, maybe you have to transition your work, that you have something to live off of. You also want to put some money aside if you're saving for a down payment on a house or you're saving for some other big purchase, or you just want to save for retirement. It's important to put that money aside. So think about this 50, 30, 20 rule. Honestly, the more that you can put on the saving side of that, the better, it, shouldn't, it doesn't have to be only 20%, uh, but that gives you a nice framework. So for every thousand dollars, maybe you bring in after taxes, $500 of that for needs, $300 of that for wants, $200 of that for savings.